Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Look at that. It's spinning and it's still hands free up to the ceiling and get it stuck to the ceiling. If you have no wins, it's like will be answered very soon. Wow, look at that. So we'll stay here. Look at that. The controls are superb. Oh. Look at the absolutely nice and precise controls. Motor. Oh, oh, motor. Ah. Assalamualaikum and greetings, Salishan Wah here. Welcome to more RC video reviews. And I have to start by saying, Ishin, Ishin, Ishin. How can we catch up with you? They have been releasing these really nice beginner-friendly helicopters like E-119, then comes the E-129. Well, beginners, do you have more money in your pocket? Because now we have the Ishin E-130 just got released. And this one is bigger. Bigger is always better. That's what she said. So let me bring the camera closer to Ishin E-130, the all-new beginner-friendly altitude hold RC helicopter and give you a quick looky looky at its features. Batteries are fully charged. Uh, we'll fly it right here indoors. Outdoor is pretty windy and this helicopter cannot handle those winds. So once outdoors winds settle down, I'll also bring it outdoors and give it an outdoor flight and see how it performs. So let's get to work. On the box, Ishin E-130 says it has one key takeoff, one key landing, six axis gyro, 2.4 GZ radio system, powered, powerful motor, it's RTF, complete RTF package, USB charging, eh, couldn't you give us something better, and crash resistant. Well, we'll put that to a test. It also has an altitude hold and 15 minutes of flight times. Let me show you what's inside the box. We have a radio control, a spare parts bag with one spare main rotor set, one tail rotor blade, one main gear, one hex head and one screwdriver which is already trying to come out, and a USB charger. And then we have two batteries, fully max 700 milliamp 7.4 volt, and Check this out, the all-new, beautiful Ishin E-130 helicopter. Fly barless head, tail motor as usual, longer tail boom, they say it's carbon fiber, also they said one mold, frame is one mold, crash resistant, kind of nylon material, I haven't got the user manual but that's what I heard about it canopy they also claim is crash resistant blade they say it's not easy for you to break them and obviously all the crash resistant claims right here now if I zoom in you will notice there is a brushed motor that is not a brushless motor this is a brushed motor right here and they just say it's a powerful motor which obviously should be enough to fly enough powerful to fly this helicopter then right here is your main board the heart and soul of this helicopter at the back here you can see two servos only only two servos to change the pitch or angle of attack of the blades in order to move the helicopter it is not a collective pitch complete collective pitch because i don't see any third servo to actually move the whole swash plate up and down and if it was a collective pitch we would have flat aerofoil blades rather than fixed pitch blades so this is a fly barless head no collective pitch you get uh, altitude by increasing the speed and decrease or oh, and descend by decreasing the speed welcome to my little indoor helipad it's right here so I'm just gonna sit here and set the helicopter up. Hello kitty. So battery goes in the compartment. Let me just turn it around. Okay. Fits all the way in. Nice. 
Okay, now I'm gonna... My curious kitty is here. I'm sure she will be really scared once the helicopter turns on. Powered on. Put it right here. Okay. Turn the radio on. An LED starts blinking really fast inside. You push the stick up and down and you are locked. Okay. This button. Okay. So top left button actually changes speed from medium to high. Right button does not do anything. I believe throttle trims will take off and land. So let's give it a try. Uh, here we go. Okay, very nice. My kitty ran away suddenly. Okay, it's right here. It's slightly bigger to fly in my small room, but man, look at it. How nicely it's holding altitude. Now regarding the trims, hold on. Let me just do something a little bit right. Yes, awesome. So, I'm just going to bring it to the center of the room. Just like this. And set the trims again. Look at that. If you have no winds, it's like a kind of GPS position hold all the time. Indoors. I mean, they could actually instead of GPS, they could actually do the downward position camera or ultrasonic sensor that is optical flow position hold for indoors and outdoors but without anything look at that, it is absolutely hands free if you set the trims right it gives you a lot of time to think about your orientation and to fly around. I would try not to go there or I will cut mommy's plants. Why do I call my wife mommy? <laughs> anyway, I mean I will cut my wife's plants right there. So we'll stay here. Look at that. The controls are superb. I mean, man. I'm not gonna go for crash testing today, but a crash might just happen. Man, look at this. I mean, this is really nice. Enough power in this helicopter and flight times we'll find out with 7.4 volts, 700 milliamp battery. Given the brushed motor, I think it should fly 15 minutes easily. Look at the absolutely nice and precise controls. I mean, you want to fly it slow, you want to fly it faster. You do have medium and high speed modes. But I'm simply loving the controls on it, man. Very nice and precise controls. Altitude hold is dropping, but that's normal with helicopters or quadcopters having to have a barometer. So now we are in my little kitchen. I'll let it hover here, turn a light on. It's kind of darky darky today. So I'll bring it to my room and see if I can bring it out without crashing it. So here we go. Uh oh, uh oh, almost hit, hit the wall because the wind coming from the right side here we are, very confined place. Nice, it's still flying while we look around my room. Look at that, it's really beautiful, man. I can basically control it with trims only. <laughs> Center trims. Okay. Let's bring it out nose in. So I practice my nose in orientation. And here will be some winds coming. We'll push the helicopter. 
But look at that, I mean, I simply love it, man. How well it's flying. Really very nice and precise controls. So here's the challenge. Go behind. Uh, almost hit there. I went behind the punching bag. So I'm gonna do it again. Hold on. Remind you, this helicopter is running big blades, so you do not want to get hit by this helicopter. So when you're flying it indoors, be very careful because it's still that's a very nice head speed right here to get you hurt especially if you got hit in the face and in the eyes you're gonna regret it look at that man this is really some nice control right here very responsive helicopter let's test the speed hold on for which I will stand here and give it more room and go backward and come full forward that was the full speed right there oh don't cut the plants high speed oh oh yeah lost there a bit let's test that thing again because it shouldn't do that if you stop suddenly right it did that again if you from the high speed if you stop suddenly okay could could have been the wind there because I was surprised why it behaved oh, oh, why it behaved that way so we had first crash and see what is my worry that such a big helicopter one thing you notice that it stopped the motor itself automatically I didn't do anything it stopped the motor itself okay and having to have I mean these blades are good but having to have such big blades and bigger size I'm worried about the main gear which well no problem still so why not we take off again there we go and we are in medium mode high speed mode suddenly stop push back yes it did control itself so it, it would have been some kind of win in that area once you stop very hard pushing backward stick it does falls reduces a lot of altitude but overall it is in control let's do the stick mash test okay so I'm just gonna mash the sticks I hope you can see the camera can see the helicopter and the sticks as well okay I'm just worried that you won't be able to see that I'm mashing the sticks man as soon as you leave the sticks hands free what an absolute beautiful machine man Ishin machine Ishin machine you again have a beautiful machine now how long the motor survives when the helicopter starts showing you issues after constant using what breaks on many other crashes how it flies outdoors can it handle winds and how much winds it can handle and how it is still alive and kicking after a while well all of these I'm gonna report back after probably a month feel free to ask me what happened to E130 and if it is still flying very well if I have any issues with the helicopter or not and all those questions that I just said uh, have been answered will be answered very soon wow look at that I mean 
as soon as it gets hit you can see it just stops the motor disarms the motor right away and that is what I simply love it man so let's do it once again on purpose this time I'm gonna run it into the punch bag okay got it stuck something is wrong with the barometer let me see not going up full throttle up okay back to altitude hold for a while the barometer was confused so let's do that test again run into the punch bag look at that as soon as you get hit the motor disarms immediately and that actually saves the main gear definitely that actually saves the main gear okay so once again now one moment I want to see if I can get the barometer going crazy again so this time I'm gonna touch the blades a little bit to the punch bag okay it didn't go crazy like last time once again I hope my camera is looking nothing happened didn't go crazy nothing happened so that was just one time thingy that it just I don't know why the barometer went crazy and it went to the roof the ceiling one moment ceiling yeah let's do the ceiling test again and that will be a good crash test as well so here we go 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 up to the ceiling and get it stuck to the ceiling look at that <laughs> okay come down come down <laughs> that was nice uh, that's that's how you do blade blade scrapping and if you want to show people that this helicopter can fly inverted you can put a camera stuck to your ceiling uh, inverted <laughs> and you can make this illusion that E130 is doing inverted blade scrapping look at that it's spinning and it's still hands free This is the thing beginners need, man. Lots of flight time, very easy to fly helicopter, plenty of flight time, hands-free performance, gives a lot of time to think and correct your orientation, gives a lot of chances for them to learn to fly without worrying about breaking things when crashing, Altitude hold? Well, that is kind of something that is not good for training because for helicopters, if you really want to learn them, you have to learn throttle control for altitude hold manually. But having to have altitude hold, which will make you a little bit bad habit. However, for beginners who just want to be able to fly their newly purchased beautiful helicopter without issues and have fun with it altitude hold is the feature for them That was a bad, bad crash. And this crash has broken these little canopy holders. One and two. Both are gone. And canopy is holding just like this. See? That is one thing that Ishin needs to improve. Motor. Oh, oh motor ah oh man i was yes i was checking that ah hold on mm, the smell the motor is really very hot and the heat sink also is very very hot 
very hard to touch, trust me, which is kind of normal case for a uh, brushed version anything. The motor gets really very, very hot. Well, I would say I want to conclude this flight right here. I have shown you good and bad right here. What happened right before the camera? I shown you everything. Good thing, once again, flies absolutely stable. It's a very beginner friendly helicopter. Crash resistant? Well, the canopy holders are not crash resistant. Everything else is. So, Ishin, pay attention to canopy holders because they break very, very easy. Rest, these few crashes that I did on purpose and just naturally nothing else is broken so given lots of flight time easy to fly goes almost hands free once you do the right trims altitude hold man this is a very very beginner friendly helicopter so Ishin has just given you one more choice to fly, have fun with, or learn to fly RC helicopters with Ishin E-130. Stay tuned for outdoor flight coming very soon once the winds, once the days are good and winds are calm. So landing, one key landing. Right there. Come on, you know what to do. Hit that like button. It's right there. I know you can do it. Oh, while you're at it, also hit the subscribe button. Right there. Come on, don't be shy. Just hit it. Thank you very much for all your support towards my work that I post regular and fresh content on my channel just for you. Hit that like button. Right there.